we're about to find out. This launch and where you do it is so important. It looks like Elliott's been starting deep in the box the last two times. And now they come off right even again. You see him wait for Keselowski that was rolling to him. As soon as that stopped, that momentum, he took off. Ross Chastain's still going to be on the outside when they get to the exit of turn two. So it's going to come down to turn three. You see a great run by Ross Chastain down the back straightaway. Chase Elliott's side draft to try to slow that down. Three wide mid-pack, but everybody clean as we watch the leaders. Chase Elliott. He's clear. Clears Chastain for the lead. He's going to make it to the white flag, too. The race is going to be official. Byron takes third from Keselowski. Final lap. Kozlowski Whoa. turns the one. Byron. Yeah, Byron yeah. into the wall. Yeah. Yellow. Yeah, sure it's over. Chase Elliott is your winner, folks. He is back. Oh, big win for them guys. The leader did receive the win. Boys, you're going to Dawsonville. Chase Elliott wins the Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 400 on an overtime yeah, restart for his 19th career victory. Chastain is not going to finish this race. It was actually off the bumper of Byron. He was slowing that outside as Byron was approaching him. And that's the fourth time today the second place car has crashed. Well, what a great day for Chase Elliott. We talked about it from the very beginning. That was a very aggressive Chase Elliott. We've talked about the struggles. We've talked about everything that he's been through. Today, he did not drive like he had those struggles, and he had a great car underneath him as well. You're going to see a lot of emotion out of him today. All right, let's back it up. Well, you saw Ross Chastain. I want to say Chastain gave him a lot of room. He was cordial to him, got this big run. Chase door him a little bit, got a big run momentum-wise there. Left the, was able to leave the throttle wide open down here in three and four, gets the lead. But I want to see when we come around here what happened off the of two. See Byron edge out Keselowski. Yeah, you saw Keselowski get loose right there as Byron came across his nose to take the line. Chastain got high. Yeah, what happened? Like, he got high and had to lift. Yeah. And I, I just don't think that the 24 car expected. Watch how fast he's catching him right yeah. there. It's just at that point, you can't react that fast. That was an unfortunate ending for Chastain's great day that he had. And Ross Chastain will finish 32nd. Well, what a great day for Chase Elliott. He is such an important part of this sport family has a great heritage in, in this sport with his father and family and their race teams and um, you know we've talked about the struggles but today they have turned it around these fans have all been waiting for this and, and I love the fact that he's doing the Polish victory lap there and waving to those fans well you said it he has an army of fans NASCAR's most popular driver several years in a row his father was before him the Elliott name is huge in this sport and he just answered for him, delivered back in victory lane. Elliott gets his first win at Texas in his 14th start. His previous best here was fourth. And it's, it's the first time he's had even a top five, let alone a win in this next gen car that's on a mile and a half. Took the words out of my mouth. This yep. next gen car's been a struggle for him and they're slowly but surely figuring it out. The last few races have been quietly solid. Top five finishes and now we're in victory lane. Well, it's been no secret that he's he's talked about the struggles with this car because let's face it, this car, you have to drive different. You have to do different things with your hands and your feet. Uh, the way that it feels is different. And, and it's been a struggle for Chase, especially on these bigger racetracks. But today they put it all together. We saw a different Chase Elliott today than we've seen this season and since he came back in 2023. There was a lot of want in the Chase Elliott today.
William Byron is now credited with a second place finish. Brad Kozlowski third. Tyler Reddick, Daniel Suarez, the top five. Dave's been a long time coming. Well, it's got to feel good. I know it feels good. You've been there, Clint. Not one in a long time to stand up on top of that car, hear the crowd cheer, and the relief that comes with that. That's what that's really what it is, relief. He knew he was capable of doing it. He knew he was with the right team, the right crew chief. 